Hey cupcakes, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. Today is March 18th and it's 7.59 a.m. Okay, 2024. All right now, March 18th, 2024. All right, let's get y'all some messages. All right. Let me shuffle up a little bit. How was y'all saying Patrick's Day? Oh my God, thank y'all so much for all the um the Lucky Charm readings. <laughs> oh my God, I had way more than expected. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um extend it. I'm going to extend it and I'm going to... um. Yeah, I'm going to extend it so all the rest of the people who did email me, I mean DM me after the um after I had took just the 9, I'm going to um I'll be reaching out to you guys, okay? But yeah, thank y'all so much for y'all love and y'all support, man. I really truly appreciate it. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel so good. It feels so good. And just give me some time to get back to y'all with the readings, okay? Because I still got to do what I need to do here on my end. But, um, yeah, I feel great, man. The energy feels absolutely wonderful, okay? All right, let's see what y'all got today. Messages for the collective, all right, intentions, but it came in the reverse. So I feel like somebody did not have such good intentions for you. Or maybe you intended to do something by your lonesome, but um, by your lonesome, but um, maybe you might need help. In the upright, it says goals or plans, what one wants to happen, directing energies, Purpose, aim of target, making plans, working with a goal in mind. Um, it says smarter goals keep deep focus. So somebody here was um, not putting their all into something. I feel like you guys still have some really good ideas that y'all need to be taking action on at this time. It is a very, 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 very lucky time at this. You know what I'm saying? at this phase in your life, especially the ones who have been elevating and growing and looking for new and wishing and hoping for a brand new start. So I feel like now is a time where maybe you thought you were going to be able to do something, something was right on target, but and you intended to do it by yourself, but in all actuality, you're going to need some help, okay? But on the back end, this could be a motherfucker who has some bad intentions for someone. So be present and aware and, you know what I'm saying? Watch your surroundings, child. Okay, what else, spirit? Yeah, this could be a fire sign. Somebody could be very passionate about somebody, or somebody could be very angry. Gotta put it where I feel we're gonna figure something out. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire sign. Um, passion, powerful energy, anger, intense feelings, fanning the flames, manifestation, becoming reality, energetic force. So, yeah. So, with this in the, this being in reverse, with this here, with the fire sign, I feel like somebody has ill intentions for someone. They might be coming in like they want to collaborate or partner with you, but I feel like you need to be very much present and aware at this time. This could be a boss figure. This could be a friend, family, a foe. This person could be business oriented. They could have their own um, company or business and they might want to bring you in. This could be somebody who is um, um, very adventurous, likes to study, you know, into the occult, as well as somebody who is just, you know, famous or somebody who likes to be seen, somebody who is... Um, very playful, low-key, childish, um, cowardice, or, you know, 
you got to put it where it fits somebody who's in their ego. So y'all have to be very, 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 very careful at this time. All right? Okay. Let's get one more. Bottom of the deck. This is love. This could be an X of an X or, you know, put it where it fit. Let's see what comes out. Water. Yeah, this could be somebody in their emotions. This could be somebody who's in their emotions. <clears throat> this could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, healing, soothing, transparency, clarity, flowing, emotional cleansing, clearing out, life sustaining, hydrating. All right now, so something about a uh, whew, cherry pie. Oh, Lord, I just lost my breath for a second. <clears throat> I feel like somebody could be in some type of emotion. I feel like somebody could have been angry with somebody at one point in time. Or very passionate about somebody and somebody's losing their desire and their drive. Maybe they got came into some type of clarity. Maybe somebody went on vacation with somebody and seen how truly, you know, crabby or nasty they are. Um, somebody could have just had an awakening, some type of cleanse or something like that. Maybe somebody was under some type of spell, you know, optical illusion and... That cleared out with this water sign here. Somebody could have been doing candle work on someone under the moon phase or the stars. Somebody could have orange hair, red hair, black hair. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody's manifestations. Maybe somebody, like we said, maybe somebody's trying to manifest, but they're not doing it under the best intention. Somebody could be doing fire and water magic, but nothing's working because their intentions aren't good okay oh yeah i'm so hot let's get no let me use these to close out i'm gonna use these to close out this step let's just somebody could have put some blood in some cookies to catch somebody up look at that with the plan right there the three people yeah when it comes to some money maybe something somebody's creating is not working yeah the the um maybe something somebody's um maybe um something somebody created is not prosperous but it's because it wasn't of the best intentions. Yeah, somebody could have been heartbroken and did somebody. Did somebody. Did something to someone. Yeah, there was the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, the Ace of Wands. Yo, I feel fucking crazy right now. What the fuck? Yeah, somebody's plan didn't go as planned. Yo, I need a... Wait, hold up, hold up. I just got so flustered, so bothered. Let me get some water. Maybe some of y'all are feeling like that. Maybe some of y'all are um, picking up a lot of energies. All right, let's do this. What's this intentions in reverse? I hope this makes sense. Maybe somebody could have did some candle mad or did some type of love spell to someone to make them be with them. I'm seeing the... Shit, I'm seeing the... Mm. I'm definitely seeing the Ace of Cups, right? But I'm seeing... Oh my God... The Seven of Pentacles. Somebody could have, yeah, you could have cut somebody off. Or oh, this is a Queen of Swords. Yeah, doing some magic. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So somebody could take a leap of faith with them. Or for somebody to be with them. Yeah. 
I don't know. This could be something online, too. <clears throat> What's this intentions in reverse? Yo, I just feel so bothered right now. I want to end the reading. Look, the lover's card fell. With the ace of cups. Yeah, heartbroken. I'm telling you, I fucking... And then the devil on the bottom of the deck. I fucking knew some fuck shit was going on. I could feel it. Somebody could have did a spell on somebody just because they left them. Or Charles started doing candle work on them. Because they were in their ego. Maybe somebody don't want to be with them no more. What the hell? Why could you do that? That's crazy. Yeah, some type of heartache and pain, man. Who y'all? Excuse me. I just got so bothered so fast. Like, really fucking bothered. Oh, my God. Whew. I need to fan. Yeah, there must have been some type of painful separation because I'm telling you, I just got so fucking bothered. I want to end the reading. <clears throat> oh, with this three of swords here, the, a painful ending. Somebody could have been heartbroken due to some loss. Somebody could be working out of their shadow. Somebody needs to heal, man. Or maybe somebody set some type of intention and look with the help the one I was fanning with. What's this under here? Yeah, this could be a twin flame. So maybe somebody left somebody. First of all, somebody came into something with the illest intention to, to be with somebody, coerce somebody to be with them. So I don't know, somebody did some type of spell work, candle work, or went to somebody to set this whole thing up. This person ended up breaking their heart. Because, of course, when you set ill intention to sway somebody with either having free fucking will or it's going to go left all the time. But this is the type of shit that y'all like to do, okay? Anyway, so now somebody done left somebody, got hurt, walked away from somebody, especially emotionally. Somebody has no desire to be with somebody. Whoever this friend was, friend, lover, this was definitely some type of friendship. So somebody could have had a friendship with someone who was who they they were very passionate about they could have loved them but i don't know if this was requited love i don't know if this person felt the same about them and they could have did something to sway them but with the devil card here yeah you cannot sway somebody out of their their free will the four of um pentacles of course they're gonna hold back Because they're being coerced to work with somebody they don't want to work with or be in some type of ro romantic relationship with or they're supposed to be creating with. You understand? 13, 13 on the clock. Okay. So that right there, you see it. The intentions was all wrong. Well, this could have been somebody who heart got heart got their heart broken. Somebody left them, and this is what they doing to your to somebody who might be coming towards you. Because if this is a twin flame who wants to be in a healthier relationship, yeah, your ancestors could be guiding this person to you if that's the journey you on. Okay, or this could just be a Gemini. When I see the twin card, it could just be Gemini energy with the twins. Maybe somebody just wants to be healthier. Maybe somebody wanted, um, uh, didn't know how to communicate with somebody, you know, just by talking to them. This could be happening to you guys where somebody should have just came and spoke to you instead of fucking doing all this candle work on you. This is crazy to me. Yeah, somebody could just be heartbroken because somebody left their fucking ass. That's it. Point blank, period. And they decided to do work on them because they're mad. This person needs to go heal or they could just be in their fucking feelings. They're gonna get karma. Whoever this bitch is, I don't know what's with this bitch with this red hair, orange hair, whatever hair. You need to catch a clue, Miss Lady. Because I feel like it's a feminine doing this shit. There's three feminines in this card. 
Oh, because somebody walked away from you, left you. Like, come on, you want to huff and puff? Yeah, this bitch wants some conflict or somebody's upset with someone here. This could just be a water sign and a, a fire sign. When somebody came in and came in with the wrong intention and somebody came and put their fucking spark out, put their fire out, put them down in some sense. What's this fire sign? A Leo. I swear to God, it flipped. Look, I just want one card there. What's this fire sign? I cannot make it up. Didn't I tell you? I saw the seven of cups. Somebody paid somebody to do some candle work on someone. So somebody could give to them or cause them some type of confusion when it comes to someone else. 1555 on a motherfucking clock. Some of y'all could be feeling flustered. Y'all might not know what's going on. Maybe you just feel short of breath all of a sudden. Maybe there's some type of energy surge coming over. You could be having hot flashes, especially if you're not a, a woman and you're a man. I feel like this could be a woman doing this to a man, whether this is you or somebody who is um coming towards you. I feel like somebody could have put something in some cookies or something or a pie. I'm seeing a cherry fucking pie with the, you know, yeah, I see the crust with the redness in it. I hope this was no B L O O D they put in there. Y'all bitches are so fucking weird, man. Because I'm telling you, I just felt nauseous all of a sudden and bothered like I needed to go lay down. And I'm fine. And I came in into it saying I felt great, y'all. I told y'all I felt so good. Now, all of a sudden, I feel fucking crazy. So, yeah, somebody could have paid somebody to confuse someone so they could feel like they're emotional about them or they have some type of feelings for them or because somebody walked away from them because we saw the Eight of Cups here. <sighs> this could be a Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could have walked away from somebody who had money. Maybe they were... Maybe they were their um, security, you know. This could even be a child doing this to a parent because a parent don't want to give to them no more. Yeah, this could be a whole relationship. This could be a custody battle where somebody got with somebody in ill intentions and didn't know that they had all this child support or alimony they have to pay. Now they got with them and they have to pay. You know what I'm saying? I'm, see what I'm saying? But they didn't have the best intention. Yeah. A mother figure. Okay, this is somebody from the past who who probably did something for their daughter to go be with somebody um, who possibly had money. I'm just giving you an example. Who possibly had money, right? Okay, maybe this person had a little status. And the mother did something to this boy or this man to sway him or curse him into dating her daughter. Get married and all this stuff. Okay, not realizing that this person could have been an abuser or he had debt debt up to his, you know, people were suing him. Um, He had a previous arrangement where they were taking half of his money, but he still was putting on somebody's name could be Mara. He was still putting on. So, of course, she felt like, you know, that their, her daughter would be good. And now it's a whole debacle. She could have gave this man, she could work, she could work close with this man. I'm seeing something about a, um, oh my goodness. Like somebody work, um, somebody could be a baker and this is what this person does. They make great cookies and cakes and stuff and they put blood and stuff into food for, you know, to get other people to, do what they need to do. What's this water sign? I fucking told you, bitch. I cannot make it up. I cannot make it up. Okay? Who do you go to if you need work done? <laughs> A motherfucking high priestess. Okay? 
This could be a bitch who's just jealous of another high priestess coming like she want to work with this person. Or maybe there's somebody with this whole attraction thing here. Maybe somebody didn't want to be somebody's friend. So they're heartbroken. So they, they keep paying people to, you know, sway this person. Or maybe somebody's put a lot into a high priestess, a healer in some sense. And then they're finding out that the intentions of this person was off, you know? Maybe they could have went to a priestess and asked her, like, I need you to, you know, help me get my person. And that shit backfired on whoever was the one who was investing in paying this person to get somebody to be with them. I told you a fucking Leo. I told you they was doing magic. Now they sitting over here in regret. This could be a fucking karmic. Excuse me. Confirmation. This could be a karmic who was putting down roots or trying to weaken somebody. Because you see how she trying to tame this? She's taming this motherfucker. So you can see. So this person could, um, you know, control a masculine. I'm trying to tell you, bitch. I'm trying to fucking tell you. Yeah, definitely online. Seen, yeah, there it go. They wanted an offer, but somebody's been holding back from and they can't understand. It's because whoever they went to, okay, the intentions was not right. Told you, King of Wands, Queen of Queen of Wands, King of Wands. So somebody was trying to get a partnership. Trying to get somebody to be with them. Yeah, but it was blocked. I don't know if the ancestors were blocking this person because we saw the twin flame, right? And we saw the ancestors. So the ancestors was blocking whoever was doing this magic because you see the healthy card. Maybe somebody decided to go on a fast and whatever the person gave them to eat, they didn't eat it because they were fasting. And the ancestors probably fucking threw that shit out. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you. So it's like the ancestors could have guided whoever this twin is in a completely different direction. Yeah, to walk away from this person. But in all actuality, whoever this was, this high priestess could have just took this person money and didn't do shit. You understand? Nothing worked. Yeah. Something was not successful. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's even more unavailable. Okay. Maybe this person is... Didn't I say something about vacation? Did I, did I not say something about vacation? I don't remember, y'all. But somebody could have went on vacation or want to. I did. I said somebody went on a vacation with somebody... And seeing how much of a fucking crab they are or how toxic they are. I said this. Okay? Yeah. This could be somebody I used to live with. So this is what I'm saying. So this could have been somebody y'all were interested in. Or this other person was interested in. Or they could have been dating this person. And But before this person was going to get fucking hexed or cursed or whatever. With whatever they were about to eat. They must have went on a cleanse or something. Because we saw the water here. Maybe their intuition was telling them to fast. You know what I'm saying? Liquid diet. So that's how it didn't catch whoever this was. Because whatever this person intended over here was not... You know what I'm saying? Oh. Or they could have did something. This could have been a friend who went on vacation and did something to whoever this twin is. So they would walk away from somebody else. Their other twin. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, put it where it fit. So there could be a karmic. Maybe somebody went on a vacation and then decided like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. Let's break up. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be a marriage or a divorce. And say that somebody's like, you know, we could still be friends or whatever. But I have, you know, this is not the best thing for me right now. Somebody could be upset. Okay? So now this motherfucker go do magic. Start paying people, to, you know, high priestesses and shit to do this to somebody. Could have possibly even lied. You understand? And then because they were in their feelings. 
But come to find out, this person was like, I will still help you out. You know what I'm saying? But I know there's a lot of fish in the sea that you'll be able to find somebody who can truly give you what, what it is that you need. Because I, 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 have, I, did, I have somewhere else I need to be, you know? Or they just want to do something different. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe this karmic wasn't helping. Maybe she was just taking, 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 taking. And this person was like, you know what? I can't. This person probably was just doing whatever they want to do, always on trips, always doing something. And this person is like, I'm, I can't, you know, this is not where I need to be. I need to move on. And they starting to listen to themselves. They probably went on a, a little fast and got some type of clarity due to whatever ancestor this was that helped them tap in to see like, look, I need you to get on a better, healthier regimen. Or maybe they seen that this person was not the best for them. And they started moving the fuck around. You know what I'm saying? So what's this high priestess with this cleansing? Or maybe there was a high priestess they came across online because we saw the world card who told them about spiritual baths and cleansing and um, clearing negative energy away. And that's what brought them into some type of awakening, you know? Yeah, look, and somebody decided to move away from whoever this was. I'm trying to tell you, yep, this karmic, who they were in a relationship with, they possibly could have been married to this person. Yeah, they could be blocking them because they could be seeing that somebody only got with them for money, stability, you know, and they were controlling them the whole time. Look, with magic, which I can't make it up. When we basically done, what, 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 what came out? Nothing came out. What was this high priestess and this um water sign? Yeah, look, somebody could have told them that somebody was doing work on them. Look, oh my God. Oh my God. Somebody, a high priestess could have told them that somebody was blocking them from giving them, get, working out something with a, another water sign. And this is the thing. Somebody could be in love with a water sign who is a high priestess. You understand that they possibly do want to work something out with, but somebody was standing in the way of this. Okay. Somebody wanted to block either this water sign or this air sign from working something out with this person. Or somebody could just be hella defensive when working out something with somebody because of all the spell work. I'm trying to tell you. Wow. Okay. Look, yeah. Somebody just feel like somebody feel like they will they, they wouldn't stop. They wanted to win at all costs. So this could just be a bitch who's getting left that Queen of Pentacles we saw earlier. Who was getting left. And she knew that this person was her money bag, money tree, or whatever the case, but it was magic on how she got this person. So therefore. Once that shit wore off or maybe somebody came across a video online or something or somebody, you know, with this whole awakening and age of Aquarius and people talking about stuff and, you know, people are intrigued. They might not say the shit, but niggas is definitely watching. They're definitely tapping in and they're definitely looking at some shit and they're wondering, like, I wonder if, you know, X, Y, and D did, D did this shit to me because... Especially if somebody know in their heart, like, I want to leave this person, but it's just something that I can't release them. You understand? So, of course, people are going to start thinking and second-guessing and wondering and inquiring. All right? All right, now. So, yeah, look. Somebody could have just basically was trying to deceive somebody due to, to the stability and money and fame and the legacy it came with, you know? That's fucked up. I told you somebody ain't had the best intentions. Whoever this queen of wands was, she could have been a witch. A lot of niggas is probably waking up and realizing they're with witches and don't even know. And granted, witches are not all bad. They are not. But they could have realized they gave an offer to a witch. They partnered with a witch. They started creating it with a fucking witch. I heard bruja. Yeah, this bitch was sending energy work. Y'all see me keep cutting it. And she's still on the bottom of the deck. Yep, yeah, told you. Chaos magic, conflict spells. Somebody going to get some type of information why something was so hard, what was, why they were so conflicted, what was fucking going on. Yeah, told you. 
The devil is always in the fucking details. And I'm going to leave it there, collective. Yep, there you've seen it fall. That's the fucking truth. Somebody being exposed, honey. I can't make it up. I already told y'all I feel the energies how I feel it. I felt it. I felt that shit. I knew somebody was saying sending something. And usually, I, I don't, you know... I don't know what it is. Maybe y'all your intuition is heightening. Usually I don't be um I told y'all I know how to decipher energy. I know what's my energy and I will know what's not. I came into this reading feeling perfectly fucking fine. And into it I started feeling some energy work. Yeah, look. Somebody could be burning a lot of fucking candles, man. They could be I don't know what they're putting out. I don't know if they're putting, um, oh my God, Whew, my back, my, my shoulder. I feel like something is sitting on top of my body. So some of y'all might just need a spiritual bath because you might have hooked up with somebody or connected with somebody or somebody's in your aura field. They could be in close proximity. They could be in your home. You could have got an unexpected visitor or just crossed paths with somebody at the mailbox. And, you know, a look of debris done shook off on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Energy. Chaos. Magic. So, um, I'm seeing a lot of, um, flames and, and, um, ash. That's what I meant to say. Ash. So, somebody could be using... Um, incense ash. Maybe some of y'all might want to make a um incense ash. Maybe some of y'all want to make y'all some black salt and put it all around your house and stuff for protection. Get you some wards and stuff or rooms and put them on your door or whatever you might need to do. Um... Get you some garlic. Maybe some of y'all are starting to protect yourself more or need to up your protection and stop fucking eating from everybody, bitch. Y'all know I don't eat from a motherfucker. I don't care who it is, okay? Yo, I told y'all there was, um, it was last Christmas and me and my baby went to the store to go get, um, you know, some liquor essentials or whatever. I have really went over to the um it was i think it wasn't the 99 cent store but it was like a dollar store but you know how they say it's a dollar store but bitch it'd be like a dollar 25 a dollar 49 a dollar 50 you'd be like ain't this supposed to be the 99 cent store excuse me but whatever confirmation but anywho so somebody could have recently went there to possibly get some gloves and some you know what i'm saying some like a knickknacks maybe some brillo or something like that a can opener and me and my baby went up there and um when we were coming back, we saw the people them riding down the street, the Santa Claus and the elf and the bitch was waving and shit. I need to call her bitch. I'm sorry, spirit. And um, we see them driving down towards where we live. You know what I'm saying? But then they stopped at the projects, right? And me and my baby walking across the street because we're gonna we going a little further down, right? And the girl was like, come, come over here, get, get him something. So she had a bag in her hand. The, the Santa was waving. So I went over there and they gave my baby a fucking pencil. Uh, um, I think I told y'all this before. A pencil, Hershey's Kisses, candy cane, and um, a fucking packet of hot cocoa. Right? And I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> if y'all, I'm the type of person, if you're going to get somebody something, get somebody something good and done. Don't give us no bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Of all the things you could have gave little kids Hershey's Kisses, and mind you, they were open. Not open, but you know how Hershey's Kisses are in the wrapper and stuff. Oh, hell no. I don't know what y'all put in there. I threw all them shits out. I, the only thing I let him have was the, um... The little plastic man, the the Grinch, the Grinch looking man. And I threw everything else in the fucking garbage. We don't eat from nobody. 
Okay? No one. For real. Even when I used to go to the pantry, sometimes I still go. And I'll be looking at the stuff like certain things, you know? You just know like, no ma'am, unless it has like the seal, like certain things. But I don't be eating from nobody, especially nobody cook fucking food, bitch. So somebody could have recently bought somebody some cookie. Okay, I'm seeing some chocolate chip cookies, bitch. Oatmeal cookie. I'm seeing some um butter cookies. And somebody been sick ever since or just feeling all for because because somebody playing in your fucking energy. Somebody done put some blood in something and cooked it up and gave it to somebody or some pie. Okay. Yeah. Somebody could be noticing this at your job. Maybe this is what happened. You weren't feeling well or this is happening to your person collective or who might be coming towards you. You don't even have to know this person. This don't have to be an ex. This could just be a counterpart that is coming towards you. Or this could be happening to a friend and you brought their ass to a, 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 a reader, healer, and they told you what to do. And you found out that a bitch was putting work on you to block you from love. Your true love. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody could have been working on your emotions to keep you guarded or cold or calculated or mean. Or this could be you collective or members or energy. So this definitely could be a bitch. This could just be a hateful bitch at the job or a friend that you thought, you know? Or maybe you somebody asked you for some money and you was like, I ain't got it. And the bitch hexed you. Bitches are weird. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They got too much time. Yeah, you probably had to end the friend. This bitch could have put a death spell on you. Yeah, this could have been a past person, a past friend, somebody you grew up with. I'm hearing whispers, whispering pine. Yeah, whispering pine. Look at that. You could have withdrew from that person. Yeah, got real distant from them. You know what I'm saying? And this person had a plan for your ass. But yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. Let's close out. I hope this helped. Yeah. This could have all put you into an awakening, help you transform. So be careful. This could even be a kid. Yeah, you could have been on went on a plane ride and fucking fell ill and shit. You don't know what the hell wrong with you. You might have thought you had COVID or something, but no, bitch. Somebody wanted you to be love sick over the ass. It's like somebody wanted you to be in love with them, but you were in love with somebody else or somebody else was in love with you and they try to coerce this person to turn away from you to walk away, you know? Yeah, some shit popping off now. What's the, um, yeah, you and somebody could have been friends or... You could have been dating somebody and then all of a sudden they have this obsession with another person. And you're like, what the hell wrong with you? Or this could even have been a friend. And you're like, what the hell's wrong with you? Ever since you started, look, Moon, ever since, you, ever since you started dating that girl or that guy, you've been different. What's good with you? And they're like, I don't know. I just love this person. You're like, bitch, you just met this motherfucker. Met this girl. What the hell wrong with you? And they come to find out, they probably put you up on game. Like, bitch, you sure somebody ain't fucking hexing you or doing candle magic on you? And you're like, what? Hell no. You believe in that stuff? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> you don't see what's going on with this day and age. Like, what the fuck you mean? But sure enough, somebody, maybe you have a friend who is tapped in and they know like, bitch, you're obsessed. Somebody could have put root work on you, bitch. Or a dude. And, you know, y'all went to go see somebody to get that shit over. So put it where it fit, bitch. Put it where it fit. It's like, there's no reason you should be, yeah, look, there's no reason you should be so um, obsessed with that person or so attracted. I'm saying, you know, love is love and shit, but you just met them or something was just too fast or it just seemed odd. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, and then it's like, well, or you seen somebody eating something. Yeah, somebody could just be going, growing crazy. Somebody could be being controlled. We saw the lion card, right? Didn't we see the lion card? Where this bitch was like taming the lion. You know what it takes to tame a lion puppeteering somebody. But you could have seen this person eating something. And you're like, let me get something. Let me get something. You're like, no. But like, matter of fact, somebody could have even offered you something. Like, you want such and such? And she was like, well, where you got that from? 
be like, oh, this girl I'm dating, she gave me this. And like, you eating from that bitch? Don't mean to call her a bitch. That's how I talk. Like, you eating from her? Or this person could make smoothies or, you know, this person could have been on a fucking cleanse, bitch. On a cleanse. And somebody gave them a smoothie or this person has a smoothie. And I came into a second saying a baker. So somebody could have a smoothie shop or, you know, and ever since then, the person been different. And it's like, yo, ever since you've been cleansing and shit, you've been different. Or, and it's like, yeah, like I'm feeling healthy and stuff, but it's just that at night or maybe maybe somebody started taking some new vitamins or something or pills but it was from somebody recommending or oh, i do this and i have this or i made this or it's a product that was given to one from an individual who you know what i'm saying they know look message yeah so somebody could have definitely been trying to put some work on someone so i don't know y'all y'all got to be more careful out here Y'all have to be more careful out here. Okay? Yo, this shit is crazy. Yes, this could have been somebody young, too. Or well, these could just be kids, who little baby witches and shit, playing around, thinking they, they, you know, they got this. They know what they doing. But, yeah, me and my baby don't eat from nobody. I told y'all that shit was just, it seemed real sus though. How y'all bringing stuff to the projects for these kids and y'all bringing it to the projects. Mind you, they came all the way from up the main road. They didn't give, they weren't giving it out. They stopped at the projects. And I'm like, what the fuck? But the lady's like, come here, you have kids. It's, it's Christmas, it's love. And I'm looking at her like, I'm okay. She was like, no, you your baby just, and I'm looking at her like, okay. And I went and got it, but. I threw that shit in the garbage. <laughs> I did not care. I don't know. They could be trying to say, you know, they always start with the people in the projects. You know what I thought about? The purge. When I got the little bag, I thought about the purge. I said, and they always love experimenting on people from the in the hoods. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was so sus. You don't pass the main road where there's so many women and children walking with their kids. If you wanted to give it out, why didn't you just start giving it out as you go down the road? You know how they used to throw candy off the fire truck or whatever, but these motherfuckers was in the back of a fucking pickup truck with this fucking Santa Claus and this Grinch looking ass bitch. Or my baby said it wasn't a Grinch, it was the elf, whatever. But it was sus. The whole thing was sus. And you know me. Uh uh. No, thank you, ma'am. Something about 1891. No, ma'am, no ham, no motherfucking turkey, bitch. My baby be like, can I eat that? And don't bring no fucking cupcake and talk. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. I tell my kid, my pe the teachers at the school, he cannot eat nothing. He cannot interact in any of those parties. Whenever they having those type of festivities, he cannot be involved. Okay? Yeah, give him something with a wrapper on it. <laughs> Unopened. Don't give my baby no Ziploc bag with no cookie. Mm-mm. When I want to, <laughs> you okay? All right, now I'm trying to tell you. And this could have been somebody who this is an ex of a person who want to come towards you, who see that you're very youthful, and um, you know this person is enthusiastic about you, or you bring out a spark in this person that they never saw, or you causing some type of inspiration to this person, and they don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 listen, let's close out, y'all, because y'all know how I am already. Look, the marriage card came in the reverse with the phoenix. Yeah, somebody is outgrowing somebody. Yeah, dragonfly with the change. Thorn. Yeah, man. I see the snake in here. <clears throat> somebody could have been putting snails in smoothies. I hope this shit makes sense, man, because that shit had me feeling crazy for a second. I got to go clean, honey. Maybe some of y'all need to drink more water. Maybe I, some of y'all need to do more manifestation work with better intentions behind it. Some of y'all could just be heartbroken, okay? Heartbroken that somebody walked away from you and you can't manifest new or... You know, when you try, you, you know, you're still not happy. 
you're realizing something that you need to study more, work more. You, you start getting clarity about certain things and maybe it's upsetting you. But keep working, keep studying, keep growing. Maybe some of y'all want to start a channel, but y'all can feel blocked. Maybe you feel like people are going to be cold towards you. Or maybe you're just a little bit confused. Maybe you could be confused watching tarot. If you are confused, you definitely need to take a step back, man. You could be paying a priestess to help you manifest or get manifestation work and nothing's happening. So clearly you need to take a step back. You need to take a step back and move away from it. That's why I told y'all when I do these readings, I, I prefer to do powwows. Okay? Powwows. What do you need to know? How do you need to work on yourself? You know what I'm saying? What it is that you need to work on as an individual, not if a nigga coming back or whatever the case. If it comes up, fine, but just, you know, you got to be, yeah, a lot of stuff is hidden. There's a lot of illusions being casted. And if you already come into the reading confused, you have a problem. You have a problem. You don't need to be watching. If you're watching a reader, especially me, if you even if you're watching my ass, and you're, you start getting a headache. Yeah, your patients start running things because patients came in the reverse. Somebody did something too fucking quick. And this is what it is. Somebody bend somebody's will. I hope this ain't y'all collective. I hope this ain't y'all who went to a reader to manifest love or a lover back and fucked around and found out. Okay? You probably just had to go get a restraining order against this person. Or well, this shit could have backfired on you. I'm hoping it wasn't you. It says, slow down. Change your attitude and clear your mind. And you didn't. You did something out of impulse or somebody else on the back end did something. Because they wanted a proposal. They wanted some type of commitment from somebody. And that shit went completely left. I see the snake in here. The phoenix as well. Somebody could have had a whole awakening because they ingested something, some type of psychedelic trip and shit. Yeah, when it comes to some type of abundance, some type of luck, maybe somebody thought this was going to be favorable. Somebody didn't want, didn't have patience when it came to divine and, you know, doing bringing this in for them. Lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and prosperity. What is this abundance spirit? Somebody didn't want to wait for it. It was 4747, but it was all about divine time. And maybe somebody didn't want to wait for their twin flame. Maybe they try to coerce this person. Yeah, love. Somebody could not wait. Somebody could not fucking wait. Yeah. Somebody thought they had the key to do something or some type of spell work, but it was an illusion. Look, it was an illusion. You see it? Somebody being judged. Yeah. Because somebody could have got overbearing. Somebody needs some type of healing. Somebody could have got overbearing and shit, right? Thorn, that's pain. And something ended. Yep, somebody could have moved away from them. Their lucky charm. Holy shit. Yeah. And now somebody is going fucking through it. I'm trying to tell you. And if they would have just waited for divine time with the 4747 here, they could have had wish fulfillment. But they thought they had something to bag with the 13 men. Ended everything. Ended their new beginning. Ended something. So if this was you and you, yeah, look with the death card on the bottom of the deck. Let's cut it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Look with the judgment. It cut, oh, my God. So put it where a fit collective. This could be a karmic who's getting fucked up. 
because they wanted a ring they wanted the abundance they did they wanted to hold on to whoever this was who was trying to come to you and fucked around and found out everything is backfiring on them because they didn't have any patience or this was you who didn't want for want to wait for divine timing and messed everything up for you whether this is work or a love relationship or something you did something to coerce somebody's better judgment or have free will to make a decision to what what was the right thing for them so something could work out for you okay but so put it where it fit or somebody try to do this to you all right now the reading is done and over with closed out let's hear what the ancestors want to say to fully 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 close out i hope this was helpful yeah somebody's definitely guarded so, um um let's um close out let's see what the what advice the ancestors had for you with the mountain yeah somebody could have just made something hard for you somebody could have made something really hard for you to the point where somebody could have did magic on somebody to stay with somebody that it got like overbearing obsessive like just psychotic scary all of a sudden but somebody was outside of somebody's house watching them and shit so now somebody's being abused somebody's just like who you talking to where you're going why are you wearing this to the point where it's like this ain't what you wanted you wanted it to be free flowing you wanted it to be you know love but it was not you coerced this person with magic now this person is damn near obsessive out of their mind bat shit crazy right bat shit crazy yeah this person could be hunting you they could be stalking you at your job at your work calling your job asking where you are back and forth on the phone trying to figure out where you who you talking to checking phone records and shit yeah this person could be meditating on your um meditating on your energy yeah it was the mountain something is hard now because you set ill intentions when you got with this person you didn't do this out of the kindness of your heart yeah this could be a virgo look so for everything whoever did this to you whether it's you or them collective or karmic um the ancestors was watching the whole time and was battling them in the spirit this could have been the ancestors who's playing on somebody's mind yeah this could be a mother figure who's up who passed on who's protecting you or this person who's supposed to be with you yeah when it comes to some type of illusion something being hidden or some type of secret you know i heard secret animosity let's get one to fully fully close out yeah look i yo i cannot make it up told you somebody did some sneaky shit and somebody saw it something could have been going on with somebody somebody could have been throwing up nauseous just not feeling good in their spirit and somebody was like you should go see like a spiritualist or something or recommend maybe somebody was online googling bitch and came across a youtube video and decided to reach out do a cleansing do something and found out that somebody was putting work on them so i'm gonna leave it there let's read what it says um, trust your talents in changing times. Yeah, somebody was definitely sneaking around in your energy. Okay. Look, I told you. Maybe some maybe the person who this was being done to, if it's not you collective, like a masculine, maybe a twin, he um he could be spiritual too. And maybe whatever they put in his food or drink or this smoothie or this cleanse activated something in him child.